Hello, hello, okay, hi. Um, I'm doing a post-game video. If you didn't know, I, I'm getting right up to the camera, hi. If you didn't know, I uh, I streamed this game, and my computer fucked up, so then we did a really scuffed stream. I was on my phone, right? It was all fun. Mavs were up by 15. Oh, people were telling me how to fix my computer. Oh, yeah, yeah, uh, good suggestion. And then I witnessed, I don't even know what I witnessed, actually. I witnessed one of the biggest fucking meltdowns, potentially of all time. Like uh, that's I'm I'm looking at this and I know that that's obviously a clear overstatement but uh, it was like a 36 to 14 run to close out this game for the Thunder in the final 8 minutes and 30 seconds uh, of the game. So the final 3 minutes and 30 seconds of the fourth quarter and all of overtime. A 36 to 14 run. Can, do you understand how horrific that is? First and foremost, give up 36 minutes and uh, 36 points in less than 9 minutes. How the fuck does that even happen, man? What is going on with this defense? It's horrible. It is terrible. Luca, and we'll get touched on Luca here in a second. Luca was horrendous tonight. And defensively, he was getting cooked over and over and over. I mean, Shea was just torching him, right? Whatever. Shea is one of the best offensive players in the league. You guys know I love Shea Gilles Alexander, and he lit the Mavericks up tonight. But uh, Luca was just getting fucking torched, and it was hard to watch. The fourth quarter, he was terrible. He was, I, I'm, if I had to put blame on anybody outside of Kid, because Kid is really who I blame. Like, Kid, Kid is wandering around like a chicken. With, like, he's like, he's wandering around. In the, like a like an old man in the forest that just has no clue which way he's walking. It's it's insane to see his coaching, his rotations throughout the first five games of the season have been pathetic. This is the third game in five games so far. All three losses for the Mavericks have been horrendous, like horrendous. None of them have been. Oh, okay, you know what? We just lost. We just lost. Sometimes it happens. They've all been pathetic losses. Right, you blow a twenty-point lead to the Suns. I think it was fourteen points at one point in the fourth quarter. You uh, uh, blow a seven-point fourth quarter lead to the Pelicans, who weren't starting Zion or Brandon Ingram or Herb Jones. And then tonight you play a tanking Thunder team, who I believe played a night ago, right? Or no, I don't think they did. But anyway, either way, you play a tanking Thunder team who aren't starting Josh Giddy, and you get blow <laughs> you you get just ran out of the stadium in the final three minutes of a game that you had finished, a game that was done, like the benches were about to empty, and you shit your pants. I've never seen any, like, what the fuck is going on? It's one thing to lose one of these games, right? Those are still frustrating. I'm never going to come on here after a 20-point blown lead or a 16-point blown lead or, or a collapse like this all the time and be like, hey, guys, hey, don't worry about it, right? It's just one game. No, you should never have losses like that. Like, those are just pathetic losses. And I know that they happen. When they happen, you need to say, hey, no more. That shit cannot happen ever again. This is the third loss like this in, like, two weeks. What's going on? What is happening? I said on Twitter, after this, I I'll let the Doomers just ride out for the next seven days and I won't say shit to them. I won't say a thing. You want to say this team is a playing team? Go ahead and say it. I don't give a shit. This team should tank for Wimby? Go ahead and say it. I, I will not push back for a full seven days. Okay? For a full seven days, I will not make a single pushback against you. Okay? Luca, this was the, this had to be the worst 30-point triple-double in the history of the NBA. <laughs> like, there is no way. Like, like, I don't even think Russell Westbrook has had a 30-point triple-double this pathetically bad. Like, it was just terrible, okay? Early on, it was fine. Like, he was just struggling shooting. Lou Dort, for whatever reason, just always gets away with just uber-aggressive defense against Luca. I mean, super physical, should-be-fouled-level defense, right? Whatever, that just is what it is. Luca sh should play through that shit. And, uh... You know, he was still setting guys up, playmaking, of course, bricking shot after shot after shot. Nobody on this team can shoot right now. I have no, Like, you watch this team, I have no idea how they're number one net rating offensively. Like, I, I've kind of felt that. I haven't really said it, but I've kind of felt like this team doesn't feel like the number one team offensively. But, you know, that's what the net ratings say. That's what the offensive ratings say, whatever. I think a lot of that is the uh, the uh, the Pel or that Grizzlies game carrying the load in the first four games of the season before tonight. But holy shit, man. I don't, I don't know what I just witnessed. Luca played terribly. Uh, at, at a certain point, you know, I don't, you guys know I love Luca, right? I think he's the best player in the world. I do. I do think that. He struggles to close games out. Like, that's just the reality. Throughout his career so far, he has struggled to close games. I don't know what that is. I don't know if it's a conditioning issue. That's what most people seem to believe. I don't know if it's a minute structure thing. I've said before, they need to change his minutes. I hate the play the entire third quarter, sit seven minutes, and then check back into the game. I don't like that shit, okay? And what's funny is, this game was over. If you leave that bench unit out a little bit longer, right? Josh Green was going crazy. Tim Hardaway was going crazy. Christian Wood was going crazy. You leave that bench unit out a little bit longer, this blows up to a 20-plus point lead, right? The Thunder were just kind of done. This bench unit was just running them out of the gym, right? They were just going so fast. It, the game is over. But then you bring Luka back in a stat pad so he can get one more assist for his triple-double. A game that, that should have been over, a 16-point game. And it immediately goes to shit. 
because the offense just slows down to this unbearable pace, and nobody knows what they are doing. Like, there are so many possessions where Luka will come, and then here comes Christian Wood setting a high screen, or Maxi setting a high screen with six seconds left on the shot clock, and now the defense just traps. So now you have to just pass the ball to guys who do not want the ball in their hands at this moment, or Luka has to get around the trap and throw up some dog shit shot. That's every possession in, cr- in crunch time. Every single one. I, I just... I don't know whose fault it is. I, I, I mean, at some point, you got to just look at Luka and say, dude, you have to figure out something in the fourth quarter. We have to move the ball around more than this. This offense in the fourth quarter is horrible. It is terrible. Even in that Brooklyn game, there are moments where it's just like, oh, my God, man. And that was in a win. Like, every game so far outside of the Grizzlies game, it's not been good. Like, even the Nets one didn't really feel great. But you won, whatever. You won in overtime. And these three losses are all terrible. Like, it's one thing to have – a bad, it's one thing to lose, right? You're going to lose. No team has ever gone 82-0. I don't know if you guys know that. You're going to lose a game here and there. Whatever. That's fine, right? But to have three pathetic losses like this to start the season, it's like, <sighs> kids got to figure out these rotations now. Like, it, it, you just can't, you can't pussyfoot around it and just be like, oh, well, the guys have got to earn their money, minutes. No, man, fuck that. Right, if you're in a game and Josh Green finishes like plus 24, Luke is a minus 24, you know what? Maybe just let the bench ride it out. It's a 16-point game in the fourth quarter. Nobody's going to blame you, right, if, if you don't bring Luka back in and you just let the bench unit run him out of the gym a little bit more and that's the end of the game. So what? Who cares? Why is Christian Wood playing zero minutes in overtime when the offense literally cannot do anything? How does that make any sense? What's going on? What's happening? I'm concerned about this team. I tweeted, like I am, I'm starting to get concerned. You guys know I came to the season, very high hopes, and it's still super early, man. This could be a formative loss, too. It could. This could be a loss where they say, all right, we have to fix this shit now. Like, we have to change how we play in the fourth quarter. Maybe we have to go, and, we have to go out on the market and get somebody, whoever it is. I don't know. Or it could be a loss where we look back on it and we say, yeah, it was around that time where we were like, yeah, this seems not as good as we thought. I hope it's not that. Okay? I hope it's not the latter. I hope it's the former. All right, and yes, I got that right. I've looked it up. I, I, I actually spent a couple hours one day looking up the latter and the former and figuring out which one is which, and now I know. I'm an expert on it, okay? Um, what else do I want to say? Nobody can hit a jump shot. This team is just shooting threes horrifically. Luka included. Luka's three-point shooting has been terrible. Luka missed clutch free throws at the end of this game. Luka turned the ball over. Um, Luka missed another game-winning shot. He was horrible in this game. I mean, there's just no to it. He was terrible. Absolutely terrible. Um, Josh Green was great Fuck man Josh Green was great <laughs> Right guys um, Everybody's mad about Dwight Powell starting I don't care about that Right Hold on Let me get my thoughts together Like my thoughts are literally sc- I don't even know Where I'm going With this With this fucking video Okay uh, Jason Kidd Figure it out man Please You don't have to do The same thing every game Do you, do you know that if, if Josh Green's playing good and the bench unit is running the team out of the gym, guess what? You can keep them in. Did you know that? You don't have to sub them out. It's not a rule. And I highly doubt it's in your contract. You don't have to sub them out. You can just let them ride. It's probably a smart thing to do. I don't know if you're aware of that or not. Uh, you can pass the ball around, guys. And another thing, too, I will say this. When the Mavs do pass the ball around, so often it gets to the last guy after the Mavs swing the ball around, and the last guy gets the ball, and he's just like, I, I, got, I got the ball. What now? They don't do anything with it. It's like catch the ball and shoot or drive or do something. Catch the defense sleeping. Catch the defense rotating. Instead, they just catch, pass, catch, pass, catch, pass, catch. Um, oh God. Oh, it's 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 been hard. I can't believe this is an number one rated offense. It doesn't make any sense to me. I know this this video is all over the place. You have to understand where my mind's at. I just witnessed. I don't even know what the fuck I just witnessed in the Mavs game. My computer is is breaking in front of me. Uh, Jesus Christ, man. I just don't know. Am I worried about the long-term future of this team? I'm actually getting there, right? Uh, after the uh, Pelicans lost, I was like, nah, I'm not that worried still. Um, it's hard not to be worried after a loss like tonight. Like, that's a loss where you're, you got to look. That's like a coming to Jesus loss. Because it's not like this is the Warriors, right? You blow a lead against the Warriors. Or, you know what? You blow a lead against the Suns. Whatever, right? It sucks. You don't blow leads. You should never blow leads. But it is the Suns, and they're pretty good. To the Thunder? With no with no Josh Giddy? Oh, man. I don't know. I tweeted out that this, that, like the Mavericks right now, 
They looked like a young team, like the Thunder almost, who are on the cusp of being really good. Like the first three quarters, it's all great. They look like they're about to be a really good team, and they're just too young. Like they haven't figured out how to win in the fourth just yet. Because that's the thing for young teams, they gotta they gotta find out how to win in the fourth quarter. That's when they really make the jump to becoming a good team. That's what this Mavericks team looks like. But they're old as dirt. They're one of the oldest teams in the league. Luka's been here for five years. This team should know how to win in the fourth every time. 16-point lead against the Thunder in the fourth with four minutes left. That's a game you like that's a game where you never lose, ever. Like no, no questions asked. But they're still doing this shit. Three times this season, they've had pathetic fourth quarter losses. Three times in five games. Figure something out, man. Holy shit. Holy shit.